Okay. Some of this, the Costa Rican flag. Why not? Definitely right now, the people will leave the flags a bit longer, and my Costa Rican friends over there know why. You ask them later. That's another story. But the point is, the Costa Rican flag is a great icon. The yoke for the oxen, the uh, bags for the horse, and so many of these elements that you could find. But how about this one? Have any a slightest idea what this could be? A log. Water. An instrument. Instrument. Water. An instrument up here, perhaps. A decoration. Um, decoration. Symbolism. No. Symbolism. Symbolism. No, it's got a very practical reason to be there. You put something there inside. For some. You put something inside of it. You can or? put something inside. Alive. Something alive goes inside. Stingless bees. Have you ever heard about stingless bees? You don't worry about the stingless bees because they don't sting. Yes? But they're very important because they produce what is called the royal honey. The royal honey. Yes, honey? The royal honey. Okay? That's very nice. Inside here, you would invite the trigonas, which is the name of the stingless bees, to get inside. Then you close it up. They're going to build a little pipe, and they're going to be visiting in and out. So once you are done, few years or months later, you open up and you're going to extract the sweetest ever possible honey in this rainforest area. Nice. The best will come. More than that, they've been using that royal honey for incredible, hey listen to this, even treating cataracts in the eyes. What? Yes. I mean someone will go to see an ophthalmologist, but some other people would just try to treat their eyes infections with this kind of a royal honey. Because it is, as you know, an incredible element that will never rot. Honey doesn't rot. You can hide it, you can put it in a bottle, you can keep it. For 5,000 years it's going to be okay after all that long. So knowing that, the properties of honey have been just getting started to be studied. I bring it out because, once again, you are involved into the fields, our, our agronomical, and then that's got to do a lot. We export this type of uh, bee to countries like Japan. This is being exported because they're running out of bees. So in some points they've been exporting some of the bees from the neotropics. Now, yes? Do we have bees in America? Stingless bees? You don't have stingless bees in North America. Not in the United States. Not naturally. You may have them in Yucatan Peninsula, but the stingless bees that go mostly associated to the rainforest. Thanks for the question. That's very nice. So you don't have them. You normally depend on the Euro European bees or, unfortunately, the Africanized bees lately, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to enter the little house. It's not so roomy, but we will figure out how to do it. And there are some elements that I would like to show you, even though that I have to do it little by little. So come and follow me inside, please. Come over. Come over. 